Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance on the Terra ecosystem. Today, I'm going to be asking the question, how do I borrow against M assets on Mirror Protocol? I'm going to give my understanding of what shorting is about, show that there's a bit of a price discrepancy often on Mirror between the Oracle price and the pool price, which is the price that I'll be getting. And then talk about the risks involved and what I do to try and mitigate those. Just jumping over to my mirror page, you can see that I've got some assets in my account. I'm on the my page section and I've got these assets, a bit of mirrored Bitcoin, mirrored Polkadot and a fraction of mirrored silver. I've got a short position that is open at the moment. I'm just going to be leaving that one running. And what I'm going to do today is think about shorting an asset using my MBTC as collateral. And I got this idea from a Twitter post that I saw from Remy. And this is what he was saying. He was trying to bring Michael Saylor over into the Terra ecosystem. And I thought that was a brilliant idea and it got me thinking about the videos that I watch with Michael Saylor. And if you don't know who that is, he's a big Bitcoin advocate. Now in Remy's tweet, he talks about BBTC. I'm not 100% sure what that is going to be, but it made me start thinking of MBTC. Now I don't have much Bitcoin at all, but I brought over some of what I've got. So I've got a quarter of a Bitcoin traded into MBTC. So thinking about shorting, what I'm going to be doing is using this $10,000 worth of MBTC as collateral to borrow another M asset. So it's kind of like putting up B Luna on Anchor Protocol to then borrow some UST. Similar but a bit different. Now on Mirror I can't borrow UST directly, but what I can do is borrow other mirrored assets. So for instance, if I wanted to borrow some mirrored Apple stock, I could go in and select my collateral as my mirrored Bitcoin and then borrow an amount of this stock. What I could then do is sell the stock that I've borrowed for UST, which is essentially shorting. If I sell the stock, I'm going to need to buy it back at some stage to pay back the stock that I've borrowed. So ideally, the mirrored Apple stock that I borrow will have gone down in price so that I can then buy it back cheaper. And essentially, that's my understanding of what shorting is about. Borrowing a stock, selling it into the market, and then hoping that the price drops so that I can profit by buying it back cheaper. The beauty of DeFi is that it might not actually matter a great deal if the stock doesn't go down in price. I mean, if it stays, hovers around about where it is now, I can still do really well out of releasing some UST, going off and earning on that, and then buying the stock back at a future date. Rather than borrowing any mirrored Apple stock, what I'm going to be doing is shorting some gold. This is one thing Michael Saylor talks about quite regularly that he thinks. Bitcoin is a much better store of value than gold. In fact, this was from a Yahoo Finance article at the end of last year, and he essentially says that gold should be scared of Bitcoin. So to pay homage to the idea that Bitcoin is a better store of value than gold, what I'm going to be doing today is using Bitcoin as my collateral, and I'm going to short some gold, sell it back into the market. Before I go and have a look for my gold, I mean, I've already made my decision that that's what I'm going to be shorting. I just want to draw your attention to this column here, the premiums. Now, we can actually make additional money if we short something that has a higher premium. So, for example, this mirrored ARC Innovation ETF has an Oracle price of $65.51. But if I was to short it for each stock that I sold into the market, I would actually get $71.20. So there might be a bit of additional profit that I could make if I shorted something with a higher premium. 
And what I think that means is there's not enough of this stock in the liquidity pool, or there's an imbalance between UST and mirrored ARKK. So the premium is to encourage people to short the asset. Conversely, I think there are some assets that have a big negative premium. So at the moment, because the minimum collateral ratio for Coca-Cola is only 110%, it's a really popular asset to short. So in fact, the premium is actually negative 8.55%. So even though the Oracle Coca-Cola price is this one, $62.56, for each stock that I sold back to the pool, I would only be getting $57.21. But today I'm going to be shorting gold and the premium is negative, but barely. So the difference is only nine cents UST. I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to change my collateral asset to MBTC. Now the minimum collateral ratio here is 150%. Below that I could get liquidated. So because I don't want to lose any of my mirrored Bitcoin, what I'm going to do is move this up to 300%. So what this means is if gold didn't move in price at all, the mirrored Bitcoin would have to drop by 50% for me to be liquidated. So gold could potentially change in price a little bit. Obviously Bitcoin or mirrored Bitcoin can change in price as well. But I think with a collateral ratio of 300%, I'll have plenty of time if things start to move against me to cover my position. I'm going to use all my mirrored Bitcoin as collateral. And that means I'll be able to borrow 92.88 shares of this mirrored gold ETF. So that looks okay. Now there is a fee. So when I'm going to pay back this 92.88 shares of gold, there will be an additional 1.5% on top of that taken out as a fee against my mirrored Bitcoin. And let's just double check how much that actually is in UST terms. So I'm not going to get the Oracle price, I'm going to get this pool price here. Right, so when I convert this mirrored gold into UST, I should end up with about $3,337 UST, which I can then go off and do something else with. Right, so I'm happy enough with this. So back on my page, you can see that I've now opened up this position. I've got my 0.25 mirrored Bitcoin, which is just over $10,000 worth. And I've borrowed 3,343 UST worth of gold at current prices. But what I'll need to pay back is this 92.78. What I'm gonna do now is go over to this trade page and trade my gold for UST. So I want to sell all my gold for UST. So that's how much I've got, $3,322.20 of UST. Now the risks involved in doing what I've done there are that my Bitcoin or mirrored Bitcoin falls in price. And I think remembering back to the start of the video, I hadn't actually refreshed my page all day and the dollar value of the mirrored Bitcoin was almost $11,000. But over the course of today, it has actually gone down quite a bit. So if the value of Bitcoin and then hence mirrored Bitcoin continues to fall, I would either need to so pay back some of this gold or add more mirrored Bitcoin to my position 
to make sure that I don't get liquidated. Another risk is that the price of gold goes up and keeps going up, which would mean that it would cost me more in dollar terms to buy back the gold than I just got today. By collateralizing my Bitcoin, borrowing some gold and then selling it for UST, hopefully I'll be able to make some profits in DeFi that make this a worthwhile venture. With all the new projects and protocols that are coming out on Terra at the moment, it's often sort of easy to overlook what Mirror has to offer. But being able to collateralize assets and then borrow against them is a pretty cool feature of DeFi and Mirror Protocol in particular. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel further, a great way to do that is by a delegation of Luna to the Orbital Command Community Validator. Stater makes it really easy to delegate to us in their new Stake Plus feature. They actually auto-compound Luna for us, so there really is nothing to do until you want to get your Luna back. So the list of validators you can stake to is relatively small at the moment, and we are on this list. The current commission is just 4%, which is pretty competitive. So the way to do it is just click on your chosen validator, and I can choose Deposit. I'm going to put five Luna in, and that's the transaction fee down there. Hit confirm. So as soon as my Luna goes in, it's going to start earning staking rewards, and these are my current delegations. I just put five extra into the orbital command just now, and I've got some with a smart stake right here. One of my personal targets for the Orbital Command Validator is that we achieve the most number of unique delegators. So if you can help us reach that goal, I would be forever grateful. Thanks.